In this video tutorial, I just want to talk about one of the most powerful web developer tools out there. It's totally free and it's totally awesome. It's called Firebug and it basically allows you to uh, see uh, all the different elements of a web page um, you actually visually see these uh, elements uh, whereas otherwise you'd have to be digging through page source um, to even figure out you know what what divs are wrapped around what bits of content or what you know div IDs or classes are you know specific to those areas and things like that uh, with firebug it allows you to actually click on areas and it'll show you all kinds of useful information uh, to help you in designing your website or customizing a web page. So uh, now Firebug works uh, with a lot of browsers these days, uh, but the best browser to use Firebug with is definitely Firefox because you'll get all the features uh, when using it with Firefox. It's just an add-on to Firefox and we'll link to the uh, Firebug page, it's just getfirebug.com where you can install it into Firefox. Um, but let me just show you, um, give you a basic idea of, of how easy it is to use and, and why it's so useful. Now here's a um, just a real basic impact page and um, I had done a previous uh, tutorial on how to um, set display none to the comments or closed text um, and I, I mentioned in there that there was a you know that this comments or closed text is wrapped in a class called no comments well how is anybody supposed to know that other than kind of like I said digging through source code or or through uh, you know your CSS files or whatever well with firebug you can quickly and easily find out this kind of information now once you install firebug you'll notice down at the bottom of Firefox there's a little bug uh, icon that you can click on when you click on this icon it brings up the firebug um, you know console or whatever and uh, from here you can uh, you know do all kinds of cool stuff and as you can see on the left hand side there's the HTML and on the right hand side there's the actual styles that correspond with the HTML and that's of course under the HTML tab and there's all kinds of different tabs but you don't need to worry about any of that right now um, you can just use the default stuff right now when you're getting started uh, so l let's say we want to figure out what uh, class or ID or whatever is wrapped around this little bit of content well, all you have to do is click this little icon that shows an arrow, and as you can see, as you move around the page, it, uh, it you know shows like you know it wraps around certain kinds of content, and then at the bottom it shows the HTML and the styles that correspond with that. So if we go down to the comments or close section, and you can see it's wrapped around that, I'm gonna actually click it, which then kind of you know specifies that's what I want to work with, and as you can see down here it says P class no comments. And even even as I hover my mouse over it, as you can see up here, um, it actually um, highlights the area to show um, you know what that's focused on. And it's cool because you can even you know as you go to different div IDs and classes, um, it actually highlights the different areas, shows the different paddings and margins and odds and ends using just the little color coding backgrounds. And then as as you as I mentioned, I've you know I've specified this area on the right hand side. It actually brings up the uh, style that is corresponding with that area. And as you can see, dot no comments is specifying a class of no comments, and it has a style of text align center. Now, what's really neat is you can actually toggle this on or off by clicking this little uh, this little icon right here. And as you can see, as I toggle this on and off, it floats to the left and then centers and floats to the left and centers. Um, so it, basically as I turn center off it just jumps to the left. Um, and then what you can also do is you can actually change that uh, style by clicking on that and you can type something different or even do up down which basically it has all the built-in um, styles for that particular style so it allows you to toggle through those styles. Um, or you can even double click and it gives you a whole new area to where you can type in your own new style. So let's say I wanted to do like display none and as you can see as I'm typing it actually pre-populates for you and if I did display none as you can see it disappears. Um, once again I can just um, toggle that on or off or here we go T toggle that on or off and it actually you know in real time shows those changes. So not only is this super powerful because it allows you to 
you know, figure out what div IDs and styles and spans or whatever uh, are wrapped around things and what styles are associated with them. But it also allows you to um, kind of do a little bit of designing in Firebug to kind of figure out how you want to um, you know, style it uh, once, you know, like once you get to the template builder section. So in other words, you know, if I wanted to kind of test and see, you know, what would this look like if I added this style to it or that style to it? You can actually do it in Firebug. It'll show you exactly what it's going to look like. And then once you've decided, okay, that's what I want, you can just copy and paste that over or type it in or whatever into your um, template custom CSS in Impact, and um, it'll take effect on your actual page. So it kind of gives you the ability to kind of like pre-customize before you actually do it live, just kind of like Impact does, um, but it does it in a way um, that works really well with Impact or really any kind of um, you know web development tool that you're you know using. So anyway, that's Firebug. That's the very basics of Firebug. You can do a lot more with it. There's a whole lot more you can do, um, but that just gives you a basic idea. And I was also going to show you um, there is uh, in Chrome uh, there is they have their own kind of version of Firebug. If you uh, if you cl uh, click Control Shift J in Chrome, as you can see, it brings up their own kind of development tool, and it's very similar to Firebug in the way it works. So, you know, Chrome is a great browser, um, so that's a great tool to use with Chrome. Um, Firefox is kind of my you know tool or my browser of choice when it comes to development. And Firebug is definitely ideal for that as well. Um, and I think Firebug, you know, does, there's a light version of Firebug for Chrome and, and Internet Explorer and stuff like that. Um, but if you're going to use uh, Firebug, definitely uh, uh, Firefox is the way to go. So anyway, hope you found this video tutorial useful. And by all means, click on the link and get yourself a copy of Firebug if you don't already have one.